speaking of traveling, as I know I just mentioned you guys are yes. doing that quite a bit, you are currently on tour. Can you tell us a little bit about how that has been for you so far? Uh, it's been great. We've learned a lot about America, is uh, all I'll say. Um, and uh, living on a bus is weird, because I think one of the biggest shocks, right, is uh, we go to sleep and then we wake up in a new city. But one of the most important rules on the bus is that you can't take a number two on the bus. And normally, I don't think about this stuff, but as soon as someone tells you you can't do something, you start to overly think about this. It feels like the Halo, like, survive me. <laughs> it was, like, whenever you go to bed, you're like, I really, I don't need a poop, right? I think I don't, yeah. I don't, but I feel something's coming. No, it's just my head. Yeah. We're doing our uh, New York show on Saturday. Is anyone doing it? Who's going to the New York show tickets? Okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, but, like, yeah, we're a third of the way through now, and, uh, well, we've been on the road for two weeks? Uh, it feels know. like three months. It feels like honestly. two years. Yeah. yeah. But no, it's been good. It's been great. It's weird to wait like your sleep and then the bus starts moving. So you just start getting thrown around like an earthquake. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. You're just like, okay, I guess I'm going to fall out of my bunk. All right, epic. Yeah. yeah. Way to start a morning. Yeah, just right? falling out of your bunk. <laughs> yeah. It's normal. It's like yeah. my childhood. One of the first things we got told is uh, we have to sleep a certain position because if we sleep the wrong way, if the bus breaks, you could possibly break your neck. And I'm like, great. What a, what a great first thing to be told uh, when starting this tour. Everything sounds awful, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> it is fun.